Numbers chapter 28. Daily Offerings. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Command the people of Israel and say to them, My offering, my food for my food offerings, my pleasing aroma, you shall be careful to offer to me at its appointed time. And you shall say to them, This is the food offering that you shall offer to the Lord. Two male lambs a year old without blemish, day by day, as a regular offering. The one lamb you shall offer in the morning, and the other lamb you shall offer at twilight. Also a tenth of an ephah of fine flour for a grain offering, mixed with a quarter of a hen of beaten oil. It is a regular burnt offering, which was ordained at Mount Sinai for a pleasing aroma, a food offering to the Lord. Its drink offering shall be a quarter of a hen for each lamb. In the holy place, you shall pour out a drink offering of strong drink to the Lord. The other lamb you shall offer at twilight. Like the grain offering of the morning and like its drink offering, you shall offer it as a food offering with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. Sabbath offerings. On the Sabbath day, two male lambs a year old without blemish and two tenths of an ephah of fine flour for a grain offering mixed with oil and its drink offering. This is the burnt offering of of every Sabbath, besides the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. Monthly offerings. At the beginnings of your months, you shall offer a burnt offering to the Lord. Two bulls from the herd, one ram, seven male lambs a year old without blemish. Also, three-tenths of an ephah of fine flour for a grain offering, mixed with oil, for each bowl, and two-tenths of fine flour for a grain offering, mixed with oil, for the one ram, and a tenth of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering for every lamb, for a burnt offering with a pleasing aroma, a food offering to the Lord. Their drink offering shall be a half a hen of wine for a bowl, a third of a hen for a ram, and a quarter of a hen for a lamb. This is the burnt offering of each month throughout the months of the year. Also one male goat for a sin offering to the Lord. It shall be offered besides the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. Passover offerings. On the 14th day of the first month is the Lord's Passover. And on the fifteenth day of this month is a feast. Seven days shall unleavened bread be eaten. On the first day there shall be a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work, but offer a food offering, a burnt offering to the Lord, two bulls from the herd, one ram, and seven male lambs a year old. See that they are without blemish. Also their grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil. Three-tenths of an ephah shall you offer for a bull, and two-tenths for a ram. A tenth shall you offer for each of the seven lambs. Also one male goat for a sin offering, to make atonement for you. You shall offer these besides the burnt offering of the morning, which is for a regular burnt offering. In the same way you shall offer daily, for seven days, the food of a food offering with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. It shall be offered besides the regular burnt offering and its drink offering. And on the seventh day you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work. Offerings for the Feast of Weeks. On the first day of the first fruits, when you offer a grain offering of new grain to the Lord at your Feast of Weeks, You shall have a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work, but offer a burnt offering with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. Two bulls from the herd, one ram, seven male lambs a year old, also their grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil, three tenths of an ephah for each bull, two tenths for one ram, a tenth for each of the seven lambs, with one male goat to make atonement for you. Besides the regular burnt offering and its grain offering, you shall offer them and their drink offering. 
see that they are without blemish. Chapter 29, Offerings for the Feast of Trumpets. On the first day of the seventh month, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work. It is a day for you to blow the trumpets, and you shall offer a burnt offering for a pleasing aroma to the Lord. One bull from the herd, one ram, seven male lambs a year old without blemish, also their grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil, three tenths of an ephah for the bull, two tenths for the ram, and one tenth for each of the seven lambs, with one male goat for a sin offering, to make atonement for you. Besides the burnt offering of the new moon, and its grain offering, and the regular burnt offering, and its grain offering, offering, and their drink offering, according to the rule for them, for a pleasing aroma, a food offering to the Lord. Offerings for the Day of Atonement On the tenth day of this seventh month you shall have a holy convocation, and afflict yourselves. You shall do no work, but you shall offer a burnt offering to the Lord, a pleasing aroma. One bull from the herd, one ram, seven male lambs a year old, see that they are without blemish. And their grain offering shall be a fine flour mixed with oil. Three tenths of an ephah for the bull, two tenths for the ram, the one ram, a tenth for each of the seven lambs, also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the sin offering of atonement, and the regular burnt offering and its grain offering, and their drink offerings. Offerings for the Feast of Booths. On the fifteenth day of the seventh month, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work, and you shall keep a feast to the Lord seven days. And you shall offer a burnt offering, a food offering, with a pleasing aroma to the Lord, thirteen bulls from the herd, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old. They shall be without blemish. And their grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil, three tenths of an ephah for each of the thirteen bulls, two tenths for each of the two rams, and a tenth for each of the fourteen lambs. Also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering and its drink offering. On the second day, twelve bulls from the herd, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, in the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering and its grain offering, and their drink offerings. On the third day, eleven bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, in the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering and its grain offering and its drink offering. On the fourth day, ten bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish, with a grain offering and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, in the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the fifth day, nine bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams and for the lambs in the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering and its grain offering and its drink offering. On the sixth day, eight bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, in the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offerings. On the seventh day, seven bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, in the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering and its drink offering. On the eighth day you shall have a solemn assembly. 
You shall not do any ordinary work, but you shall offer a burnt offering, a food offering, with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. One bowl, one ram, seven male lambs, a year old without blemish, and the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bowl, for the ram and for the lambs, and the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering and its grain offering and its drink offering. These you, you shall offer to the Lord at your appointed feasts, in addition to your vow, offerings, and your free will offerings, for your burnt offerings, and for your grain offerings, and for your drink offerings, and for your peace offerings. So Moses told the people of Israel everything, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. Chapter 30 Men and Vows Moses spoke to the heads of the tribes of the people of Israel, saying, This is what the Lord has commanded. If a man vows a vow to the Lord, or swears an oath, to bind himself by a pledge, he shall not break his word. He shall do according to all that proceeds out of his mouth. Women in Vows If a woman vows a vow to the Lord, and binds herself by a pledge, while within her father's house in her youth, and her father hears of her vow and of her pledge by which she has bound herself and says nothing to her, then all her vows shall stand, and every pledge by which she has bound herself shall stand. But if her father opposes her on the day that he hears of it, no vow of hers, no pledge by which she has bound herself shall stand, and the Lord will forgive her because her father opposed her. If she marries a husband while under her vows or any thoughtless utterance of her lips by which she has bound herself, and her husband hears of it and says nothing to her on the day that he hears, then her vows shall stand, and her pledges by which she has bound herself shall stand. But if, on the day that her husband comes to hear of it, he opposes her, then he makes void her vow that was on her, and the thoughtless utterance of her lips by which she bound herself, and the Lord will forgive her. But any vow of a widow or of a divorced woman, anything by which she has bound herself, shall stand against her. And if she vowed in her husband's house or bound herself by a pledge with an oath, and her husband heard of it and said nothing to her and did not oppose her, then all her vows shall stand, and every pledge by which she bound herself shall stand. But if her husband makes them null and void on the day that he hears them, then whatever proceeds out of her lips concerning her vows or concerning her pledge of herself shall not stand. Her husband has made them void, and the Lord will forgive her. Any vow and any binding oath to afflict herself, her husband may establish, or her husband may make void. But if her husband says nothing to her from day to day, then he establishes all her vows or all her pledges that are upon her. He has established them because he said nothing to her on the day that he heard of them. But if he makes them null and void after he has heard of them, then he shall bear her iniquity. These are the statutes that the Lord commanded Moses about a man and his wife and about a father and his daughter while she is in her youth within her father's house.